Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at some Rhino gameplay. So I took the three max Rhinos that I have, uh, you know, in my inventory, I decided to take them out, uh, give them a spin. So I have uh, the Rhino with Scourge and Geckos. I actually tried this out on a uh, Griffin a while back during a live stream and surprisingly it did really well so I decided to throw it in. And do the Rhino variation. So I'm going to see if I can focus down this guy. And maybe break his shield. And clear this bridge here. Let's see if I'm able to actually break it with uh, the full round of Scourge. I think I might have broken it because I see something there. Let me just uh, put my shield up here. And just keep on uh, working at his shield and breaking it down. And then I will focus down the... Lancelot that's beside him. This guy I've got to be careful of though because he's uh, making his way closer and closer to me. So uh, let's keep on moving back. And this should be able to melt him. And remember the closer he gets to me the more damage uh, these Scourge weapons do. So we managed to take that guy. Let's see if we can focus on some guys uh, in the center here. So the other Rhino setups that I have is with Turans and Magnums and the other one is a Death Button uh, build. Which I actually started running quite a bit uh, prior to these dash bots being released. And uh, ooh, there's a, a Butch back there. <laughs> so this is kind of the reason why I wanted to try this out because I can actually focus down something like a Butch with Trebs if he's hiding back there. So you can see I can hit him. I mean it's not a lot of damage but over time you can actually wear out um, you know those long range uh, snipers back there so let's see Ooh. oh jeez they've got another guy back there so let's see how well it does I'm gonna focus on this guy here I'm gonna use my two geckos and uh, focus him down that's actually not that bad if he gets I'm gonna see if I can move a little bit closer here I actually wanna use my uh, scourge weapon maybe wait until he's um, finishing firing like now I'm probably gonna get hit by trebs which is fine because I'm doing a lot of damage here let's put the shield up this is kind of the reason why I wanted to try the setup is because of the uh, the whole gecko the shield and the geckos let's see if we can take him out Ooh, we're gonna have some problem uh, coming up. These guys are coming up the ramp here. And I am playing on domination mode, so I'm not too worried about, you know, them getting the beacon and then being in trouble afterwards. Let's see if I can wear this guy up. So yeah, that, that build's actually not that bad. I really liked it. I'm going to... Trying to decide. I think I'm gonna go with a plasma build here. Because I think once we were able to get into center, then I might need that reachability of the plasma. And there's only one guy in center right now. And so that's going to help. And then if they manage to get into center afterwards, then I can roll out my uh, Rhino Death button and clear them out. Because that will give me a lot of firepower, I think. So let's go with this instead. So you can see why I wanted to go with the reachability. There's a guy up top there. I think he has Orkins. So I'm going to have to uh, deal with him. So we can lock onto him here. What I really want to do is actually fire under his shield. But he needs... He's going to be coming around the, uh, the edge here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm firing under his shield in the hopes that I can break it. And do more damage to him. Because it's sort of bypassing his uh, shield. Yeah, I'm taking on a lot of damage here. Trying to move back to see if I can wear him out. I think his shield might even be broken at this point. Yep, it's broken. Come on, Turan's fire. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Oh man, I'm getting hit on the side. So now that they're actually in center, let me s actually wait. Let me see what we're working with here. You know what? I'm going to try the Leo. Because the Leo has punishes. Maybe I can clear them out and then uh, get into center. And then once this is done, then I'm definitely going to roll out with the Rhino next. Because we're going to need speed to get into center so that we can reinforce it. They still got that Butch back there, but they have another guy. He looks like he's moving to the left side. The uh, pure guy. So I have to uh, keep an eye on him. 
He's probably got like an RDB or something back there. We just need to get into center. We're fighting for center right now. Let's see if we can help my uh, teammates out where this guy is a shield. You know what? If I go to the side, yeah, I might even be able to take him out. Clear him out from behind that, uh, that wall. This is actually great. The Punish is wearing these guys out. Whoa, so we, we're getting into center here. This is good. We've got a Raijin going in. Everyone knows what they need to do. They're getting uh, into center to defend. I think that Raijin actually has Tempest too. I tried that on. I had an amazing game um, a while back during a live stream when I was running the Raijin Tempest. And I held the, uh, the covered bridge with that thing. This guy's getting shredded up pretty good. He's losing a lot of weapons. Yeah, he didn't make it. So we managed to hold down center. I'm just reloading here. These guys are going to be... Okay, so we're going to have a Rhino here soon. I'm just checking to see who do we have. These guys are coming up. Uh, that's a uh, Rugatka. But they've got all kinds of stuff coming up this ramp too. So I'm just going to go in here to delay any kind of, uh, you know, the push that they may have trying to get this beacon. I'd rather I be in center and delay that so that they don't get it than to have them uh, get it. Uh oh. Did this guy crash? He's got, uh, he's got geckos. <laughs> he should actually try, f maybe focus down the guys that are on the bridge. Oh wait, there he is. See, I'm using my rhino right now to get into center quickly because what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the rhino's speed. And uh, with the Orc and Panata build, it's very, very powerful. So if they do send something like a Lancelot, uh, into center I have a lot of firepower to uh, you know if they not if they have an answer shield I can knock it down so I can use that uh, to my advantage or if they don't just take them out with <laughs> all the Orcans and the Penates what we need now is uh, I've got to stay near this uh, Ancelot someone's firing a lot of spirals back there and I'm not sure what this guy's in he's in a jumping bot you know what I'm gonna just go for it Fire the uh, Pinatas. Take him up. I'm gonna lock onto this guy. One of these guys has spirals, and I think it might be this guy. Yep, it is. So I'm gonna go straight for him. Oh! <laughs> I managed to dodge those aphids. It went right. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna try to see if I can at least wear this guy out a bit. I don't care if I get taken out because we don't have to deal with uh, spirals then. So uh, we don't have to deal with spirals. I'm going to spawn in with my Fujing Orkins. I'm probably going to get trebbed because I don't have a physical shield now. But if you take a look at the beacon bar, we've got three beacons. They've got two. Our beacon bars are longer than theirs. There's a chance. Well, actually, there's a very good chance. They're probably not going to win this. They're down to four players at this point. And uh, we, have, we have five or six. So I don't think they're going to get into center, and even if they did, I don't think it's going to be enough time for them to win, because they would have to push a, uh, a fourth beacon at this point, uh, by the looks of it anyways. So I'm just going to get into center, and I'm going to try to lock it down to make sure that if they do try to get into center with an Ancelot or anything, um, you know, that way I can deal quite a bit of damage to them or take them up. I think there is a player here who is thinking about going into center. I'm not sure what he's in. But I'm going to stay behind this ramp so that by the time he gets up here, if you take a look, we're almost one minute. So even if he does take me out, they're not going to win because they don't have a beacon ball left. So let's see if I can hit this guy here and that should do it. We don't have to worry about him. I'm going to see if I can get close to my uh, my teammate here. Oops. Just hoping that I could get close so that he could use my shield, but he moved away from me. I don't think he knew that I was coming up the ramp either. So uh, there you have it, 761,000. Should I cancel that? So uh, not too bad. And this is uh, this is going to be with this lineup that I was using here. So I was using a Rhino with uh, Gecko and Scourge, uh, Tehran Magnums, Orc and Pinatas, and then I had a Leo with uh, Thunder Punishers, and then the uh, Fujin with uh, Orcans. Okay, so this is going to be round number two. So I have uh, my three Rhinos in, um, but I decided to switch the weapons on them. So we have... Uh, punishes and then I have uh, as well Orkins and Magnums. Oh, come on. Yes, he didn't get that beacon 
And we've got another guy here which I'm going to try shred up because he's 400 or so meters away. Maybe that will help. <laughs> I was trying to move around here. I'm trying to see if I can get to the side here quick because the rhino is pretty quick. If I can use the hill. They're hitting me on the side, but if I can use the hill, then I think I might be able to get into position uh, to do some decent damage. Yeah, so you see, you got a guy firing pins. He missed me, so that's good. He's also very vulnerable now, so let's see if I can shred him up. He's getting shredded up. I don't know if it's all for me, though. I'm gonna see if I can wear this guy's uh, shield down. Because he's gonna start firing his uh, Tehrans at me. And then once he's done firing, I'm gonna drop my shield. And then I'm gonna fire my other my other uh, punishes at him. So when I see him stop firing, like now, this is where I'm gonna fire everything. Then it takes about five seconds, so I'm gonna put my shield up here. Wait until those punishers load up, wear them down, see if I can get some more shots in here. There's just the rest of his shield, come on, come on, get that shield up. See if I can wear him down, come on. <laughs> oh no, he broke my shield. But, if you take a look at his uh, Lancelot, it's pretty busted up, so I think I did a really good job. I almost managed to take him out, I think if I didn't get hit so hard from the side when I was crossing there, I might have been able to uh, take him out. Whoa, man, my team. Everyone's camping back here. Let's see if I can knock this guy's shield down. Let's see if I can take this Galahad out. It's Rhino. Come on. Aphids, Aphids. Here we go. Aphids on him. I want him to really move around the corner here, but let's keep firing aphids on top. When he moves around the corner here, I can fire my uh, my orcans at him. Okay, so they've got another, what is this, fury or something? Let's fire some aphids at this guy. Take him out. Come on. Rhino, I'm trying to help this Rhino so that we can get into position here and uh, let's see if we can knock this guy, take him down so that he doesn't cross. Put my shield up, come on aphids, 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 come on, come on, boom, yes. Oh crap, oh jeez, someone hitting me from the side, whoa, turned so quickly that it like I said, sometimes when I turn very quickly, it activates, I miss press and I click the ability button. Someone's hitting from the side here. Who's firing? These guys are going to try to get around. But I have to stop them because otherwise if they get around here... Let me just put my shield up. Oh, it's a fury! You know what? Let me see if I can get some splash onto him. I'd rather take him out because these guys have so much range. What is this guy in? There we go. Oh, jeez. Come on, turn around. I've got 5,000 health left. This guy actually managed to get this beacon. I thought we had it. You know what I think actually happened? I think they took out the guy that was behind me, that was standing here, and then they captured the beacon, but now we can't get it. But you know what? They have lost a lot of bots, so I don't know if that's going to be enough. We're down a player, though. Watch out, watch out! Shield up! Oh! <laughs> I thought maybe I'd be able to get that guy. Okay, so now... <laughs> I'm going to run my other Rhino, I think, after... Maybe after this, because we need to... Uh, I need to see if I can chip away at these guys. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna fire a singles on this guy because he's uh, moving. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to take him out. Yeah, there we go. 
Man, this game's gonna be... I think this is gonna be one of those close games. Because, uh, take a look at the beacon bar here. I think this is gonna be able to knock this guy's shield down. Oh, it was. That's very good. This guy... Oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't have splash. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Let's see if I can hit this. I think that's an RDB or something back there. I only managed to uh, clip him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Here we go. Come on, my teammate needs to take him out. He's almost dead. One more shot, one more shot. There we go. This guy will get a full load of aphids. You know what? I'm gonna have to target this uh, griffin next, I think. Let's see if I can target him. There we go. We're trying to wear these guys out because if we can wear them out, then there's a good chance we can win here. We're down a player though, come on, we need- Oh jeez, now they're firing aphids at me too. I was wondering what that was that was hitting me. So they had a- they have a, a potted warrior. Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. No. So I hit him just as he landed, so that way he can't move. And he takes the full brunt of those uh, aphids. Yeah, these guys are, they're going through a lot of uh, damage here. Losing a lot of bots trying to get into a center and stuff. Oh, this is going to hit. Oh, man, half his health. How much time do we have? I'm looking at the time here. Trying to, trying to gauge. Let's see if I can maybe knock this guy's shield down. I wanted to get the carnage. I thought, no, wait a minute. Let's, let's go for the, uh. The Ancelot, because the Ancelot can hold down beacons, so if I target him... Oh shoot, as I was firing, couldn't get this Rogatka. This Rogatka is actually going to jump up now, he's going to try to target me. Trying to knock uh, these guys down a bit here. Okay, so now I've got to bring out the Rhino because now we definitely need speed. So I'm going to move my Rhino all the way to the left side. And I'm going to try to see if I can clear them from behind that wall so that we can get that beacon. Because as it stands, we've got one and a half minutes. And I don't know if it's going to be enough time here. I think I should have actually ditched. Um, my patent aphid sooner, but I thought that my teammates were actually going to push into a center here. But um, it looks like they didn't, so I'm going to have to uh, try to do it myself here. We've got to get into uh, the center quick. Oh, we are changing one of the other beacons too. This is going to be one of those close games. Come on, I got to get the center quick, quick, quick. Man, that teammate of mine, that, that was a brilliant move right there. That might have saved, that might have won the game. Okay, so we've got this beacon. I'm going to, come on, come on, I gotta run. <laughs> if I can get this beacon, this would be good. Oh, they're not gonna, is that guy gonna get that beacon? Let me get this one here, quick. 35 seconds, come on. <laughs> I think we need five beacons at this point. I'm trying to see if I can stop this guy. Put my shield up, got it. Come on, 22 seconds. Come on, 13, 13, no. <laughs> yes, do we make them out eight seconds? Come on, they better not have another bot. Are we gonna lose this? This could be the, one of the closest games ever. I think we lost. Oh, come on. <laughs> That was, that was a crazy game. I almost thought we won that. We actually mech them out, but we didn't have enough time for it to register on the server. Oh man, that was a crazy game, but that was so worth it. You know, I'm kind of glad that I ran the second game with my rhinos. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoy this video. And I guess until the next video, we'll catch you guys later.